Unify Software Defined Networking Controller 5.29 Stable has been released and you're probably saying, hey Tom, this is old news. This was a few weeks ago and you'd be correct. What is new is uh, that we've been using it for a few weeks. So I wanted to do a review, not based on, hey, we installed it and it looks like it works. I wanted to say, hey, we installed it. This install went smooth, which it did. The upgrade went smooth and we are managing all of our clients on this and we haven't had any headaches with it. So after a few weeks, it seems to be working fine. Uh, firmware updates and everything, I no, nothing to really complain about. Uh, I know that's less exciting um, in terms of I like solving problems, but then it was great when your tools that you manage your clients with work really well. And uh, so they have some of the new features include the new dashboard, IPS signature uh, updates, and more controls around that. Uh, soon I'm going to do a video on that particular topic. Um, updated single sign-on, VLAN support, new cloud access integration, and a whole list of stuff. I'll leave a link to this so you can see all the amazing new features. And uh, well, just like it says at the top when you look at the new dashboard, everything is great. And this is a weird addition to me that they put that at the top. Feels very markety, but eh, whatever. Um, you got to market to sell product. So we'll. I just. I, it's not a marketing thing. It's a. Uh, feels like a marketing thing, I guess, because uh, our network is excellent and everything else. But let's talk about the new dashboard and things like that. So uh, you have this new customizable dashboard that you can create your own. I have my Times Dash and I have the Wi-Fi metrics, which is the default. And let's look at a more exciting site that has a lot more things going on on it. Now, the first thing you may have noticed is when we switch to this site, everything is good, but not great. Well, that's because when you have the Unify USG at the head end, everything is great. When you don't have that as a front end and for this particular client, for some of the advanced things that are doing, we have a different firewall on here. Um, yes, it's a PF Sense, in case you're wondering. And this is a uh, larger deployment. So we're gonna switch over from the Wi-Fi metrics to the Tom's Dash, which the customizable dashboards, I really like in this version. So definitely pretty cool. And you can kind of get an idea. You can see utilization between the different uh, APs that we have all deployed here, connection types and everything. Uh, and then customizing a dash, they made really simple. And this is just, it's, it's so nice. So I can go to manage dashboards. I see the custom one. I can add another custom dashboard. And this is done on a per user basis. I can export the dashboard if I wanted to import it somewhere else. And the dashboards aren't set up per site. They're set up on a per user on this controller basis. But we're gonna go ahead and edit my dashboard. And you just kind of click plus and minus and drag things around and build your new dashboard of how you want. So you have a couple of views that you really like. You can create those custom views in you know, whichever form works for you. We're gonna head, hit done. Uh, but it's it's nice. Now, the one thing I did notice, and it could be me just not understanding how it works. So here we have a little pull down, easy enough. I can say yesterday, today, last hour, last 24 hours. So let's go last seven days, apply. And by the way, this is just very slick interface uh, for UI here. So we can look and uh, track out things with different problems you may be experiencing. It graphs them out for you when you're looking at, all right, this is the, this Wi-Fi unit. We're seeing the connectivity issues between uh, there or, you know, packets and things like that. But what I thought was weird is, oh, and we do have filters for all the access points. So, which is also really cool. So you can filter it out to just narrow down one. Like I said, a lot of great customization here, but when we switch over here to Tom's Dash, Um, we can still filter per device in here, but you may notice that I don't get to choose the time of the day. It just goes back 24 hours. I thought that was kind of weird. And like I said, I don't know if it's me missing something, but um, it's cool. I can see all this, but I don't get to see the uh, choose the date range when you're doing a custom dashboard. It's only in the uh, non-customized dashboards. Maybe they can enhance that and add that as a feature. But I do like anytime you click on there, you can go here. I can restart this device. Um, I can pop it out so I can undock it from the property panel. And some of these are features they had before in here, but then I can look at these individually. So I really love the way this works. It makes managing this really simple. Let's go over here to devices. Much the same uh, as it was before. Performance, so you can look at the TX5G, TX there, uh, 
the config for how each one's configured. So it's just, they've done a lot of polishing on this in terms of the way the system looks when you're going through all this. So I'm really uh, happy with the updated interface. I would like a darker interface that would be cool, but and eh, maybe they'll come out with it. I know that someone said there's a Chrome extension where you can flip this to be a darker interface. I've seen someone mentioning that. Go to our statistics page and same thing, we can choose uh, statistics daily or choose a date range here. And we can look at a particular device and look at the stats on that particular one. So really, they've done like a nice job on their performance stats, traffic stats, switch stats, uh, speed test stats, and debugging metrics. So kind of cool that you have this once one more drill down information if you're trying to sort out problems or anything like that. Now, another thing I've always liked, and this is something I've talked before about, will unify. And this seems to work even faster now is they have a debug terminal built in because all their devices all have a small Linux kernel in them. So even though this is a site we're managing remotely, I can hit open in terminal and immediately be into a terminal on this particular device and do like a test on here with a, quite a few Linux tools that are built in and start troubleshooting things. So I can ping in this instance, the gateway, but I can also ping an individual device, look to see if there's packet problems and start kind of drilling into uh, issues that might need to be solved on there. So we're going to go ahead and close that. The map still works fine and uh, this view still works. The only th problem you run into is uh, it doesn't scale out enough in my opinion. Maybe that's an enhancement we'll see soon, but uh, it's cool. Hey, look, someone just went from one end of the building to the other. It is kind of neat to watch as it refreshes because as people wander through the buildings, I'm showing the clients, you'll show the clients moving along the different uh, paths as they jump to different Wi-Fi access points, which is just kind of novel to watch them hop around. Uh, I really like this feature, but when you show clients, it does expand it out quite a bit, which makes it a little bit, hard to see, but as such is life. So uh, go back over here to, all right, so we'll look at like the switch stats here. I, overall, like I said, they've just done a lot of polishing, a lot of enhancement. It's really nice. Everything works well. And that's just kind of my main review of it. Uh, we're still using it to manage all of our clients and all their sites. Uh, well, not all of our clients, just all of our managed clients that I want that on here. I'm going to say this was definitely a worthwhile upgrade and I look forward to some of the future updates and hopefully they sort out this little dashboard um, filter time thing. Or if someone says, Tom, you're an idiot and it's right here and it's right in front of me, I just can't see it. Let me know because I'd be interested in that too. Um, if I can do a custom dashboard and choose a time frame in it. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and click the thumbs up. Leave us some feedback below to let us know any details, what you like and didn't like as well, because we love hearing the feedback or if you just want to say thanks, leave a comment. If you want to be notified of new videos as they come out, go ahead and hit the subscribe and the bell icon. That lets YouTube know that you're interested in notifications. Hopefully they send them, <laughs> as we've learned with YouTube. Anyways, if you want to contract us for consulting services, you go ahead and hit lawrencesystems.com and you can reach out to us for all the projects that we can do and help you. We work with a lot of uh, small businesses, IT companies, even some large companies, and you can farm different work out to us or just hire us as a consultant to help design your network. Also, if you want to help the channel in other ways, we have a Patreon. We have affiliate links. You'll find them in the description. You'll also find recommendations to other affiliate links and things you can sign up for on lawrencesystems.com. Once again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.